Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today is our first lecture, lecture on a topic of permutation combination. Basic idea I'm going to deliver. So uh, first of all, there's the what is the difference between combination and permutation. So first start on um, permutation. I'm starting. So permutation, permutation, and then I will talk about combination. So actually, in a, <laughs> till end of chapter, till end of chapter, student face difficulty in only one thing. <laughs> what difficulty the face? When to use permutation and when to use combination. This is the hardest thing till end of chapter day. For example, we spend four or five days. You will find difficulty only one. How to decide permutation and how to decide combination. And I have a one line answer. One line answer. Start here, important thing. What? When order is important. When order is important, important, we go for permutation. And when order is not important, when order is not important, we'll go for combination. Okay? So let's talk about it. First you ask here, what does order mean? Okay? Let's see what does order mean. So if you understand order, it will inshallah become easy. For example, 32 and 23, they are totally different from each other. Hmm? For example, you given someone 32 real and you he give them 23 real. He said, no, so I'm giving same numbers only, but order change. So it means with order change, so it matters. If matters, so permutation. If order change, no matter, so it's called combination. Example, I have a, a, a two similar blue balls, okay? So blue ball, like for example, this blue ball is blue and this ball is blue. Perfectly blue, okay? No change at all, both blue and blue so if you keep like this or if you keep like this so no issue if you change the places so it means if you change the places so no problem so it means when you feel that if i change the places and no problem in effect comes so it means combination but imagine if i have a, a, a blue ball and a green ball one green ball so if you keep it for example blue and this is a green example i just keep green so blue and green so naturally, uh, there are two options we have. One, first blue, second green, or first green, second blue. So it means two possibilities we have. So that is why you observe that if a chain of places, if a chain of places, if order matters, so I would go for permutation. If order not matters, I would go for combination. This is the key point of the whole topic. And formula here, formula in the, this part is NPR, and here NCR. So P stand for permutation and C stand for combination. And N stand for total objects. Total objects, total items. And what does R stand for? Taken at a time. How many objects taken at a time? Okay. So this is similarly here. And uh, let's talk about some examples to understand how they are differentiated from each other. Example, I have three pictures. So let's talk about A picture, B picture, and three, C picture, third. So we have three pictures, okay? And I have to take two pictures and fix on the wall, right? So let's say three, I'm not calling any name, but A is one person name, okay? B is second person, and C third. So three picture, okay, I want to fix on the wall. I have two, I have place for two people only. So let's see how we can time, uh, I have, okay, right. For example, first place I kept A, second place I kept B. So this one A and B. Maybe first place A, second place C. Correct? It is possible. Maybe first place I fix B and then A. Correct? Now I fix B here or what about B and C? Correct? It is possible. And I have look, two options for AA, two for BB and now two for CC. For example, C and A and C and B. I think these are six possible options and I'm 100% sure and you cannot give me any other option. No other option you have, okay? And I have a short technique. You work out a lot, but I can do one thing only. How many total pictures? Three. How many taking a time? Two. Order important? Yes. So answer is here. Three, P, two. And check your answer. 100% answer is six. Try please yourself. 3P2 will give you 100% 6 answer. And you saw, and we got a 6 even. And I, I can't give you more than 6 options in this kind of question. Okay. I think you got a clear picture. Right. 
Let's talk about, for example, I have a, a A picture, I have a A picture, and I have a A picture. They are perfectly same, perfectly same. And if I ask you now, please tell me, I have to take two pictures from them, any two picture, and I want to fix on the wall. Same situation. So what is possible? We have A first, A later. Can you give me any other option? An answer is what? Shortcut answer. Three available, two to use, because order is not important, and 3C2, check your answer, sorry, 3C, uh, 3C2. So what, what answer comes? We have a three answer. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Three, um, now, uh, okay, for a minute, uh, like for example, I take all three pictures and I want to fix all. What answer we have? 3C3. It give us what answer? Check. Answer number one. And we have only one option. Three pictures, I have to pick all, right? So what does answer come? Three. Uh, three C three you give me one answer on, and we have one op option only. Can we produce more option we have? No, because they're similar pictures. So you can say, sir, what about the, um, uh, for example, I choose this and this. Okay, in case of two here, two. So three, this and this, one option. This and this, second option, and this and this, third option. And we can't make more than more than three options. Okay, in case if I take if I take two, if I. What answer comes? Check you three answer or not? Check me. Yeah. Check. So I think is the way. If I if, if I take this and this picture, hmm, I got one option. This and this picture, two option. And this and this picture, third. So I have no other option we have. Okay. So that is why you see we got three C two. We got three answers. Correct. Now I talk about some more example. This is not so effective. So leave it and let's come about one, two, three, four, and five. Ready? Okay, so let's see now we have five numbers. I want to make it this one other example. I want to make a three, uh, three, or let's make it uh, four, okay. Three digit number. I want to make three digit number. So three digit number, I want to make it. How many three digit numbers we can make it? How many three digit number we can make it? Just wait, please. I want to just see. Okay. So uh, once again, we have a three digit number. I want to make a three digit number. So it means I can use out of four, I can use three. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you a box method, a technique to solve this kind of question. So look here. So I can show you how many numbers available. So formula is N, P, R. So how many numbers available? Four. So N is four. And how I'm using, how many I'm using same time? Three. So answer is four, P, three. And type in calculator, please give me answer 4P3. Four. Four answer? 24. 24 answer. And actually, you know, if I if I should do the other way, if I do the other way, so this is a method number two. We have this is a method number two. Okay. So 4P3, I think you got my point. We have four numbers and we have to use three at a time and 24 options we have. Okay. So this is very clear. Okay. Now I, I'll make another example. One, two, three. One, two, three. I have to make a two digit number, two digit number, uh, one, okay. So what is this, there we have a way, two digit number. So I can do two ways we have. One way is a three, a two P, two P, sorry, three available, two to use, three P two. Give me answer please. Six option. And see, I, I can show you. I can show you one, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, Three one three two. I can't have more than this over, and that's it. Stop it.